Welcome back, savvy investors. Today, we're unraveling the mysteries behind one of America's banking giants, Wells Fargo and Company. Get ready for a roller coaster ride through the highs and lows of financial metrics. Buckle up, folks. We're diving straight into the heart of Wells Fargo's financial universe. Let's kick things off with the price to earnings ratio, or PR. At a trailing 12 months PR of 12.89 and an average of 9.79 over the last five years, Wells Fargo is holding steady in the valuation game. But wait, there's more. Looking ahead, the forward PR clocks in at 11.24, hinting at potential growth on the horizon. And speaking of growth, hold on to your hats for the price to earnings to growth ratio at 1.93, suggesting a balanced blend of value and growth. It's like having your cake and eating it too. Remember that a value around one is when a stock can be considered undervalued. Now, let's peek behind the curtains with insider ownership at a modest 0.15%. Hey, every little bit counts, right? But don't let that fool you because Wells Fargo's return on equity is a solid 6.59%, proving they know how to make those shareholder dollars work for them. And for those obsessed with efficiency, feast your eyes on the return on assets at 0.98%. Unfortunately, we don't have available the return of invested capital available because it's difficult to obtain in the banking sector. Continuing with the earnings per share or EPS, Wells Fargo boasts an EPS of 4.79. But fear not, with an EPS next five years projection of 6.67%, the future's looking brighter than a bull market sunrise. But hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to hit a bump in the road. With a very flat evolution in EPS over the last nine years and a roller coaster ride in free cash flow, it's clear that Wells Fargo's financial journey has had its fair share of twists and turns. Now, let's talk about cash flow, baby. Over the past decade, Wells Fargo's free cash flow share has seen more ups and downs than a Wall Street roller coaster. But fear not, intrepid investors. Because when it comes to dividends, Wells Fargo is serving up a juicy 2.4% yield with a side of 1.14% growth over the past decade. And with a free cash flow payout ratio below 20%, it seems that the next payout will increase over 10%. With an operating margin of 19.15% and a tantalizing profit margin of 14.57%. It's all about making every penny count in the world of banking. Over the past eight years, HP Incorporation has been on a relentless climb, with positive revenue and earnings growth painting a picture of resilience and adaptability. This situation has not been reflected in its market price, obtaining a lower total return to VO during the last five years. Now, let's talk about Wells Fargo's financial fortress. With a debt-to-equity ratio of 0.77 and long-term debt-to-equity at 0.45, they're building a sturdy foundation that even the big bad wolf would envy. And let's not forget about market performance. With an average price return of a whopping 60.4% over the last 52 weeks, Wells Fargo is riding the wave of success straight to the bank. Analysts foresee a bright future for Wells Fargo Inc., with a projected price target of $63.35, representing a juicy 2.52% upside potential and with a fair value estimate of $66.97, it seems like the market might be sleeping on this financial titan. So, grab your calculators and join me on this exhilarating financial adventure as we uncover the hidden gems of Wells Fargo and company. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more financial adventures. Until next time, happy investing!